Welcome back to Fresh versus Frame. We're back at it every day on these episodes. 7 p.m. Eastern on the DLA Dow YouTube channel. And soon you'll be able to check it out on the 24-7 FF Media Network channel. All types of different shows. Fresh. First Frame. and foremost... What you doing out there, boy? What you been doing all day? Dang, son. I mean, I know what I'm not doing. What's that? I ain't out here beeping. <laughs> Don't be out there beeping now, boy. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like the days just all mesh together now. Uh, I don't know. What is it? Friday? Day? It's something like that. I don't even know what year it is anymore. 1972 or something like that. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense, I think. All right, so we're getting into some mini royale. There's challenges to complete. We got the first variation of the reward system worked out for DLA DAO holders of the Dejembership NFT. This is our special little extra reward system on top of mini royale's reward system, which we did pretty well in the clan war. Do you want to go over and address that reward system or not? Nah, just come to the discord and talk to us yeah just you know, come and talk to us you need to yeah, get the discord you know what I, i'll say this if you want to know more about it maybe in the discord we'll release a little short for you guys with the breakdown but as far as uh breaking it down live on stream uh fuck off <laughs> <laughs> but if you do want to join you're a gamer and you needed somebody to play with and you need NFTs because you can't get them. We got them to blend out, no cost, just no out-of-pocket cost, let me be clear. Uh, but, yeah, in-game rewards split, small splits with the DAO. Players always get a bigger bonus of the rewards, bigger portion. But we've got you covered if you want to come join the Mini Royale Clan. All of that. We also have the EVIO clan at D-L-A-D-A-O dot world. What is that, Fresh? D-L-A-D-A-O dot world. Very nice. All right. So what do we got going on with these challenges? P90s and CTF. P90s. All right. I've done P90s, some of those. headshots, CTF matches. Headshots in single matches and any matches. Um, Let's see yeah. if there's any of these new loot contracts. Yeah, I see we do have more requests to join the clan. So, you know, we're at full capacity. There is, we've been talking about starting an academy, uh, a clan for newer members as we're filling up so fast. But if you request, join on Discord. Okay, the button is right here. Just click the join Discord, say, hey, I'm trying to join. There's also the links to everything there. But make sure you get in contact with us because we do have, like we said, the uh, clan rewards if you're a degenership holder. But anyway, all right, let me look at this last contract here. Uh, we got a lot of butter farms out. Oh, we got another butter farm out today. Let's see. So I just need to use a season four premium hero. I can't turn off Team Death. Because I'm the one in control of it. Calm oh, down. That would make sense. <laughs> I shouldn't be the, the main guy then. What you mean? Like, even though it's my screen, like, I should be to the left. You should be the, the first Listen, guy. Listen, man. Things are wonky right now. We're just going to roll with them the way they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you you know me. I'm I'm extra critical for no reason. I mean, it's great. Yeah, I just you like certainly to are. You certainly do. All right. So make sure CTF. Nope. Set modes. Start game. Let's go. Santa Claus and green wolf face mask wearing guy. Although the texture on this guy is cool. Yeah. And like Santa Claus is Santa Claus. Yep. Although, if I can change him, I may just do it quickly. May do it quick. Yeah, 
He's bringing out the nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the I thought we were gonna see the exclusive. Well, it's not exclusive, but it's exclusive to Fresh because he loves it. Listen, it is exclusive because it's the only one that has my bracelet on it. Oh yeah, that's right. You bought that bracelet. I got to build you, my bracelet factory. You so see I my crosshair? Bracelet. Whoa. Yeah, did you mess with it? Uh-huh. That certainly uh, this is a lot better than a normal crosshair. And you see the meters beside it? Yeah. What is that? Is that the distance thing? Yeah, I just don't know. It doesn't really calculate any distance. We've been probably been playing handicap with, uh, let's see. No, it's just white. I'll, although I do want to change mine now from white because the white is hard to see. Sometimes it's, it's oh you did you didn't come in as Santa you came in as oh you probably just switched your loadout when you died yeah. damn you died quick no I didn't die oh I just died there four and one how did you die I just covered you I jumped in front of the bullets for you I don't know you shot through me <laughs> I don't know man I took damage and everything hey, what do you mean enemy team picked up the flag bro I was right here. Oh, they had two of them out there. That was two easy kills. Thank you. Whoa, that guy just came out of nowhere. Did you just shoot me in the ass, my own teammate? Stop running and come back here and die. I'm out here P90ing all over y'all's faces. All up in your spawn points. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Where'd he go? Okay. That guy just ran past me and ignored me completely. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, yeah, we got the funky music. I don't know why I'm so hype right now. I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know either because I'm really tired too. And, like, I actually want to just close my eyes. Yeah. I think it's my brain trying to do that and me fighting against it. So it's making me loopy. That's probably what it is. That actually, the way I died just now looked relaxing. To the way that... <laughs> <laughs> if I just not in a not in a dark way, just uh, yeah. Can I just lay here, please? Yeah. <laughs> like... Dude, really, that's that's how it's been. In a busy, busy, busy quarter. And shit don't stop. It just gets busier and busier. Yeah. Listen, I'll never complain that I got a full plate, so it is what it is. Man, I just complain when there's gluten in it. <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, you weak kneed bitch. Nah, man, I don't eat gluten. Or, I do eat gluten. I was about, you know, it's really funny I made that joke, because I was just about to actually go just eat two pieces of bread for lunch here, because I don't feel like doing anything else. I just need some sustenance. It's probably some crazy stuff to say on uh, the li uh, video, but whatever. You guys, some of y'all got to fill us out there on some of this stuff. This is real life talk, you know. So we can't be we can't be out here uh, ridiculous all the time, one hundred percent. Well, we can, but we're still real people. Man. Well, some of us are soundboards, but some of us are people. I mean, some of us are dinosaurs. I'd like to say that um, all of us are people, um, but I can't say it with confidence because I know some of you motherfuckers are NPCs. <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, I told you, I told you that, uh, about the uh, checkers where I talked to the AI to took my order at the window uh, at the uh, drive-through. Yeah, that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, it was, it was weird. It was certainly weird. And and for those out there. Look at that bow tie on Fresh's. I never noticed that before. It looks like a candy cane almost. It's not even a Christmas one. Oh. For those of you out there, though, who are like, Yo, that's crazy. I don't forgot what it was I was saying. Cause the was AI so took your order. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think it was like a robot recording thing, like like that, no, nah, this thing answered me when I asked it specific questions and had specific answers. Like it would take, like when I'd ask it a question, it would take a, a little bit of time to generate the response, just like Chat GPT and everything works. 
And it was like, because I have a question. Like I asked, no. are you sure that you can get, or I said, did you, are, are you sure you got both of those? And it said, hold on. Yes, both of those are on the order. Is there anything else you would like to add or are you ready to check out? You know what would be really funny? With somebody like me, who just like loves to fuck with people and answered like that. Hello. Hi, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought that at first. I was actually laughing because I thought they were fucking with me. And then, no, no. It never changed. And then everybody out the front of the window, none of them sounded like that or were talking at all, actually. Shit, bro. They didn't even come to the window except to bring me my food. Like they, they were hired no mutes. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, the mute union's big right now. Mm. <laughs> All these genetically modified mutes and shit. Genetically mod that man, <laughs> and now we're gonna we're gonna, because of all the things going on on social media, we're gonna start having Unix. We already oh, have no. more oh, more. No. Yeah. Oh no, we we can't you... talk about that. <laughs> we can't we can't talk about that then. This is how when I talk about the cycles repeat and all that shit. It's not the first time that people started cutting their junk off in history, and it's always towards the end of a civilization fall. And you know it is what it is when you when you start cutting junk off. That's pretty wild, you know. I don't care how mad you are at it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. It's been plenty of times I've hit my nut on the side of a, you know, coffee cabinet or something and been pretty mad about it, but I've never been like, hey, I just want to be a, a unicorn now or shout out to unicorn. That wasn't a reference to you or anything. You just have a name that is unicorn. So, and I happen to reference those all the time. Good marketing though. Genius marketing. Wait, unic, unicorn. Ha 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 ha. Oh, a unic horn would it have a horn though if it's a eunuch no no you take the eunuch's horn to make it a eunuch oh so it goes from a unicorn to a eunuch i got you man that's that's really unique <laughs> <laughs> bars listen i'm only talking about like fantasy novels and shit. i don't know anything else i don't live in the real world I live in the Oh Matrix. man. I don't know where the real world is. I about just eight know million, about eight million fucking realities back. <laughs> you think we're at base reality right now? I got news for you. It's not oh. even fucking close to what's going on. The saying of that's a coincidence uh, is over with. Like it has been nailed into the ground and conspiracy. Like conspiracy now is no longer like <laughs> every conspiracy you got to check into because that shit might be real. Like after, after the Epstein, now, that's pretty much what it was. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like anything and, could be true right now. Bro. Right. Right. You know, we've seen the, the JFK footage, the CI drop. And like, if you've never seen that footage, Go watch the driver blow JFK away, please. Well, that's a crazy way to say that, but... Buddy, that's uh, exactly what happened. Uh, well, I know. That's exactly what happened. What I was going to say, though, was... If I could stop sneezing my brains out... Uh, whew, I'm doing terrible this match. I will blame it on allergies. I'm zero and two. But I got a capture, though. Oh, I see. We're on this side. I've been thinking we were on the other side. I, I never spawn it. over here. Yeah, I know. I never. Well, I never spawn over here, so I always think I'm on the other side, and then I like keep running to. I like that side for, where we're at. Yeah, I like the side for Team Death. This side's great for capture. I already got their flag and running back with it. No friction whatsoever. Yeah, that's an easy score. There you go. Nice. Get out of here. 
Um, damn, what were we talking about? Oh, they're eating shells this time. Yeah, bro, honestly, we were talking about Unix, and I don't think we should go back there. I'd say you're right. Like, I was, I was <laughs> contemplating even telling you, but it's against, like, <laughs> every fiber in my being to lie to you, so I just have to fucking yeah. say it. Yeah. Trying not to even answer, and my brain's just like, fucking say it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm five and five. I don't know how you're doing, but five I know you're sick. Oh, okay. Game's trying to keep us in check here. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man, it's, everything's starting to AI. These, these game bots going to be AI if they're not already. You guys are going to get a rude awakening when you realize that playing all these games have been training the AIs all the time. Yeah. Was they, okay, so this is an interesting premise now that you said that. and This triggered blockchain monster hunter in my head. Because, you know, that game, it's like, all right, or whatever. It's just another Pokemon version. The only, the only thing that sets it apart from all the other Pokemon versions of games out there on Web3 is it's cross-chain compatible and the monsters are in the blockchain mining basically they don't mind much they like they they help secure the networks so that's a real interesting concept where i can see like more things like that coming in with what you just said yeah a hundred percent a hundred percent because like a lot of people are thinking inside the block all they all they're thinking about is building on top of it or you know whatever well I to be it, honest it, nobody's nobody's even um it as far as i know anyways nobody's built a game on the blockchain games no that's not true actually affinities a guy well it's built on ronin blockchain so i guess you're on right. the blockchain or it utilizes the blockchain those are two different things Right no, now, X is fully on Ronin. Like the game lives on Ronin. I'm pretty sure. I don't that's... know. About that. I feel like that's a way bigger news than I should know about that. But... No, nah, because it, uh, that's why everybody was so bullish on Axie because it had its own blockchain, which was unprecedented. You know, no other games had their own blockchain. Yeah, but again, having your own blockchain and having the game actually on it, like the game files are saved to the blockchain. The game runs off the blockchain. Oh, I can't. I, I can't confirm where the files are stored. That's what I'm saying. I have no like idea. The game run on the blockchain. The game utilizes blockchain tech. I, I want to say actually runs on the blockchain. Well, I don't care what you want to say. No, I'm that. just saying. Do do your research. You know, I could be wrong very easily. Oh, her head is in the fence spinning. That was sick. That was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> It was so brutal looking. What do you call it? Gory. But, um, but you know, there's a, let's, let's clear something up about play to earn gaming. Everybody who says play to earn gaming has crashed. No shit. Everything crashed. The whole world economy crashed. So if you go bearish on a project because it crashed when everything crashed, that would be the equivalent of being like, oh, I'm not going to mess with Bitcoin or something else anymore because it crashed. And what you can do. Down. The whole market's right. down. Like, right. Check like, the sentiment so, before you get mad, bro. Like, yeah, like you got to do more analyzation on these games and just go off of what the price of the token is, if they have a token or the price of the NFTs. Like, you got to go look at the community, you know, and it, like, these are businesses. Yeah, that's the same with other projects too, really. I mean, they're all supposed to be some form of business. So you you have full rights to go check out the products, and review the products, and, you know, experience it. And I would recommend do so. I don't, but like, going off of a chart saying it, it's just it's just a crazy thing like i've heard that so many times in so many spaces so many chats and stuff like oh i actually crashed because of that that yeah it did obviously but everything crashed so that's not really when they're all, when everything crashes that's not an indicator of anything specifically to one thing so you have to go deeper i agree if you look 
the the real truth about Axie was, besides the one hack that happened on the Roden Bridge, that hurt the project quite a bit. But before that, they did not have the breeding system ironed out properly, and the breeding system was functionally able to, as many so many people came into the bull market, infinitely breed axes and then created a huge supply of axes. And then when the crash happened, everybody tried to sell them. So no demand, super high supply, simple, simple equation. That's it. <laughs> That's why projects and actually still around and they're, and they're working on it with the new Axie too, um, on the breeding system and stuff. Cause that was their biggest thing. Like the whole game is Axie infinity. Your axes should be your value, your value prop as your NFT and, uh, making, making it where you can mint too many of them. It, it's the same thing that happened with Terra Luna as a token. Like putting that protocol in there to uh -huh. allow for infinite minting is just a terrible idea. Yeah, it is. Quite possibly the worst idea to ever come to blockchain. Yeah, yeah, and and that's why I will never ever get behind Dogecoin because it literally does that infinite mint. Like this is a simple equation of supply and demand. If population is going down, and every day the supply is infinitely going up of dogecoin why well, i don't know how you can expect it to get to anywhere <laughs> at some point it's just going to be like what is more i mean i don't even know what is more common than that you know like right now it's like oh dogecoin's got this supply they may be burning whatever but infinitely in a hundred years how many dogecoin is going to be out there and the population going to match that no I mean, that's assuming the whole entire population only interacts in Dogecoin, which is asinine. <laughs> like there, if you are going to be a project leader or you're going to be a trader, anything you're going to be, supply and demand. That is the, the key things. Those are the things. Those are your indicators. I don't care how you get to the supply and demand, but all the damn things you want on your screen, all the filters, effects, indicators, Fibonacci pickle forks, fucking Gandalf the gray spikes, bro, whatever you want to yeah. call it. doesn't matter, bro. At the end of the Just day, don't, <laughs> yeah. do a Just little bit more forget. analysis. Yeah, exactly. And, and don't forget supply and demand. That is always your analysis core. You're not including that. Like market cap is a terrible example that people use to go by. That shit changes by the second. The supply on unless the you're trying don't... to pump meme coins, bro. Like, yeah, well... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you're trying to pump meme coins, you watch the the market cap so you know when to get out. But otherwise Well, yeah, I mean uh, um like if you're I mean, if you need to, curious. if you need a market cap to tell you when you're up ten thousand percent to get out, then you are a fucking idiot anyway. Uh, <laughs> like ten thousand percent, like you're. I don't even know how people hold that long. Like that's the craziest. Like I wouldn't be holding that long. I'd be well, like, that's, I'd be that's like, like oh damn, I just made all this liquidity. I'd be putting that into something else. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was saying, like, oh. You, you, if I would never get to a million dollars, like let's say for example in King, I'll never get to a million dollars because hey, piece. I will pull out way before then. I'm not greedy like that. Well, that's the well. Damn, Corny Cobby went off. <whistles> that is insane. For, is he a bot? I thought he was yeah, a bot. Yeah, he is. Wow. And Butterbeer got I was none. wondering why I got... Well, yeah, I only got two. I was wondering why I couldn't get any kills. We also fucking was talking to captured you. four times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, in between Season 3 NFTs and Season 4... 
they still have a co- uh, cohesion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, cause I was thinking about that the other day with many. Like, does the season like season one Genesis? That's the first entities of the project. They're going to be, you know, whatever, in an early project like many. Um, but season two, season three, Saint Toys, season four, they all have a, a pretty decent cohesion, even though they're really different. Like the Saint Toy, and now the Iffy Toys with the porcelain and If Toys. If to I know I've been saying Iffy Toys. I think I might have put Iffy Toys on one of the titles. I may need to go fix that. My bad, Iffy. Uh, shit. My <laughs> my bad, If Toys, because I am a very dumb southern person and my speech patterns they all been working now boy so i apologize only halfway it's not done in malice just <laughs> yeah that's he's, he's what only call, halfway he's what we call redneck dyslexic red this ne- i'm not really a redneck though man that's the thing my neck don't yeah he, don't he tan so he's, he's a he's a, a tan neck I don't, I don't have, see, this is the problem. I don't have a neck. All right, Big Ed. Yeah. Well, my head's really not that big either. It's really, I'm a weird shaping person. Something happened. There's multiple things that happen, actually. There's, my mom tells a story of how my, the way my brain and head was shaped was pretty suction cup. Well, my mom used to call me Gumby when I was a baby. Dude, that is perfect. That has a perfect shoebox square head. I, why did I not think of that? Your mom is the roasting genius. It's okay, bro. My, na- my name was supposed to be Damien. I was supposed to be named after the devil's son. But then that my gra- didn't, that yeah, my my, sense. my grandma just didn't let my mom name me Damien. Shout out to your grandma for holding it down for the non-satanic people. For the rest of the world, because if I would have been Damien, you guys would <laughs> never escape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my own. Oh, it's Luke and Van Lakes. Oh. But yeah, none of this was financial advice. Of course, it never is. We're just having a conversation on the gaming channel while we were playing a game. We are not saying to go buy or sell anything or do anything. Other than supply and demand, because that is not financial advice. That is a fact of life. Everything has some type of supply and demand through nature, through water. If your tree does not get water, if it does not have a supply of water that it demands, your tree dies. Simple as that. Works the same way everywhere else. However, you plant a bunch of seeds. And you have plenty of water, well then you grow a lot of trees. But if you overwater, they die. Yeah, and if you plant too many seeds, they will choke themselves out. Yo, can you exit? Yeah, man, we're on some like deep, deep, uh, deep stuff, man. This episode should be called Bars. Bars. Oh, I got a, another piece. Another shard of one of these porcelain big heads. Oh, I gotta get three headshots in five TDM matches. I guess we'll save that for next episode. Let me see. Uh, what do you gotta get? Oh, the headshots in the TDM. I gotta get three more too. <laughs> well, um, let's wrap this episode up. Um, Sounds good. Thank you guys for coming out and watching us and, uh, as always, if you're looking for us, the links are in the description, or you can find us at dladao.world. Um, and yeah, fuck off.